Yo, T. What's up, B? You remember why all them families want to fish on the Miss Island Marauder? Oh, yeah, because they got them big yellow tails, right? Mm -hmm. I see yellow tails. I know they're going to slay them today. You know that. Well, we're going to be slaying today on the Miss Island Marauder with my boy. We're going to try. All right. All right, we got a special day today, you guys. Mission Fishing is here. We're going to try to whack some yellowtails. Tony, tell us a little bit about Mission Fishing, what you guys do in RJ and all that. So. Yeah, man, Mission Fishing. So basically we serve to enrich the, the lives of families and special needs kids, their caregivers. Um, we, we centralize around fishing trips. So we take families out uh, on the water. We see all, all types of therapeutic benefits from having families out on the water. And then we also meet practical needs. You know, we, we, we do things like we recently got a specialized bike for a child, braces for legs to help them walk. Uh, we're, we're looking at giving a, a, a wheelchair accessible van away in the next couple of months. So that's kind of the gist of what we do. Awesome. Now, RJ, you've been doing a lot with this too. Every month you're trying to do a fishing trip, right? We are. Every month we do a, a different look. You, a lot of the Lighthouse Point, we've been to Miami, Palm Beach, now we're here in the Keys several times. But one thing I'd like to say is it's, a, you know, for, it's as good for us as it is for the kids. Uh, we, we like to involve the community, the fishing community, and it's been really, really good just to be able to get out on the boat with families and and uh, spend time with them. So yeah, it's been an awesome thing. We're gonna keep doing it. And right, so right now we're doing something monthly. Absolutely. Every month we got something going and we're in a different location just trying to promote the Lord's work and do what we do. That's it. Alrighty. I think it's time to go fish and have some fun. <laughs> Here we go. Are those 12 inches or 13? All right, perfect, just checking. The yellowtails are swarming back there, you guys. We're gonna catch some fish. Ray, Andrew, and Nick been chumming up the spot. How long, a couple of weeks? It's been a couple of weeks. I yeah. know GPS on Tony, no GPS, turn it off, Tony, turn it off. And that's the bait right there. Them shrimp, they're gonna be eating them up right there. Feed them, the more the bigger ones show up. It's a big area. They're all gonna be pouring into the chum slick. So follow uh, what these guys tell you if you've never done it before. And uh, like I said, use that sandball to get you a bite. You guys got perfect good shrimps, guys. You wanna start by taking the heads off, throw them away, and then you're gonna take the shrimp and you're gonna take the hook. Pair the hook together with the shrimp, follow the curve, guys. Come back and snap the tail off, guys. What you need to do is try to make your bait look like chum. When we meet by that, guys, you want to keep a rod tip pointed down into the water. Keep that bail open, guys, and you want to keep drifting this line out, guys. If you stop, you won't get a single fish. The yellow tail snappers only eat the bait as it's floating away. Once that line picks up, they'll go for fast and slow. That's our bite. Close that bail, lift up, and turn the handle. Here you go, buddy. Whoa, whoa. Come here, buddy. Here, here you go. Here. Oh, double here up, double up. Double up. Step up. Step to the rail. Got a barracuda in the water. There you go. Yellow tail 101. There we go. Little guy, you want to stop winding that in? Bring it to me. Oh, he got chopped. Oh, oh, he got chopped. Oh, the right cooter got him already. We'll save a couple little ones for I remember last time. He probably ain't far. There's like an aquarium down there. He's lurking. There he comes. Oh, he ate it, Jamie. He ate it. He ate it. Yeah. He's running with it. You want to mess with that one? He's on. You know how to do it? Oh, he's jumping. There you go. Put this hand up here. There you go. Yep, and lean up against here so you can put your knees up there. Perfect. You don't. Put your knees here like this. Yep, turn that handle forward. We're hooked up. Barracuda on. There you go. There you go. Oh, look at him jumping. Oh. Keep whining, keep whining. All right, then when he runs, you let him run. As soon as he stops, you whine again, okay? Yo, Jack, yo, Jack, yo, Jack. Oh, you got a yo, Jack. Oh, nuts. He did. He came up there. Got a yo, Jack. Keep getting him. You're doing good, doing good. Bring that fish in, Caroline. Cooney came up here, smashed the yellow tail. Doing good. Keep them coming. You ever caught a barracuda before? No. Never? Never. You've been deep sea fishing before? Nope. You haven't? Nope. This is your first time deep sea fishing. You got a barracuda on. This isn't Lighthouse Point special. The boy knows all about this, baby. I had a bite once. You can't walk over this way. Kind of, yeah, keep your tip, keep whining, keep walking. Go all the way to that side. We hooked up over here too. We've got a double header on. We got kudos on the left. Yeah, we got that real, buddy. 
Yellow tail's on the right. Now look at him jumping. Look at him jumping. Here you go, buddy. RJ, sword fish eat these things? <laughs> Better keep him then if he comes up here. Nick, don't lose him. Is he coming back here, maybe? There you go. He might be coming back here. There you go. Stay right there. Keep winding. Keep winding. Yep, he's coming back. He's coming back. She's following a fish around the boat. That's what you got to do. He goes left, you go left. She's doing good. Oh, yeah. Get your back and pull the pull back. Yep. All right, Nick, get that fish. Get him, get him, get him right now. Right now, right now. Oh, we got him. Big barracuda. Look at that cuda. Is that your first fish? Yeah. It is? Yeah. Awesome. Congratulations. Look at that. That one's picture worthy. It's actually my first fish I've ever caught. Ever? That's the first fish you ever caught. That's awesome. That's a good first fish to catch. I treasure. We gotta get a picture of that thing. Look at that. You got him. He's heavy. You gotta grab him with both hands. There you go. There you go. All right. Big old barracuda, you guys. A lot of times we let him go, but we're gonna keep him for bait. We need bait. See those teeth? Yeah. Big teeth, huh? I was really hoping he went, when I was holding him, he wasn't like gonna <laughs> around. Yep, he might scare you there. Yeah. Look at that. Good job, guys. There you go. All righty, we're getting a couple keepers. There's some small ones showing up, but we need the big ones to come. There's a keeper there. There you go. Really good, huh? If you chum, they will come. This is a miss out on party, but these guys do this every day. So if you want to come out here and go yellowtailing, an affordable way to get out of here fishing, this is what you got to do. Come on, Miss I. What we got here? Is that a keeper? Hey, there you go. Going really down the box. Okay. More dinner. Mm, what's your name, buddy? Jonathan, look what you just got. Yes. You got dinner. Look at that. Oh, he's not having to see us, is he? So Yellowtail got to be 12 inches to keep. Fight in the corner. 10 per person. I don't think we're going to limit today, but we just got to get dinner covered for everybody so everyone can eat some. Oh, just had a bite over there. I heard the drag scream. Here we go. Once you feel it pulling, then you get Here we go. Got your bail up in there? So you got to bite there. Yep, you close it one on yours. Now keep it drifting out there. Come lean back here so you can kind of balance there. And once one takes it, Real, real, real. You'll line start running off, close the bail and start winding fast, okay? There's a bite right there. Wind fast. Got him on. Fish on, yellowtail on. Hooked up over here again? There you go, buddy. Look at that, boy. You ever caught one of these before? No, never. No? Well, I guess we should just did. Yeah, I didn't know you played baseball, Andrew. He was a catcher. I thought he, uh, actually. <laughs> didn't you play baseball? Dang. You played baseball, didn't you? Professional? Me? You know I did. Was it professional? It was. RJ actually played baseball. You guys, I don't know if you knew that or not. My arm's shot, though. I can't even throw a chum ball. <laughs> hey, Andrew's going to throw him, so we're good there. All right, there it is. Look at that. Is she a keeper? We're going to measure him. He's close. I don't think he's going to make it. No, that's all right. There's plenty more where that came from. What a day it is just to have the families and the kids out here. It's just special. Everybody lined up on the rails. Families doing their own thing. Getting some time away from land. It's awesome. Mission fishing. Do I need a chum ball, Andrew? You might be able to get away without it, but it's certainly going to help you. There's lots of ballyhoos down there. A yellow tail. Keep going. Don't worry about the tangle. Keep going. We're getting fish in, guys. Get dinner in here. Keep going, buddy. Stop wine. Bring that right in to me. What we got here? What's that? What is it? Yellow something. Yellow tail snap. You know what this is also called? Dinner for you. <laughs> Yeah, good job, boys. There's a yellowtail. There's a yellowtail. Some up the side there. What they do on this boat, they drift for yellowtails in the back of it, and everybody else fishes the side on the bottom. So they got bottom fishing up here and drift on the back. Everybody's catching a few fish now. And if you guys don't know, you know much about fishing, the crew on here, you know these guys will teach you. Andrew, you got Nick back there, you got Ray over there. They'll kind of help coach you and teach you as well. So. Hopefully you catch dinner. This is what they do on here. You come out here and try to get dinner. Yellowtail snapper, mangrove snapper, occasionally a mackerel or mutton or grouper too. Duck or bleed, duck or bleed. Duck or bleed. There you go. They're all coming in now. There you go. Good job.
Yeah. Yeah. I want to eat there. Yeah. You like to eat fish? You just got a fish sandwich. Yeah, you, yeah, you just got yellowtail. In the box. Good there you work. go. In the box. Well, he was so good. Right in the corner. Oh, he's good. We need more sand balls, sir. We're going to sand ball for her. What was your name again? Caroline. Caroline? OK, I'm Nick. Hi. Uh, we got, ooh. Got me with that horn and the shrimp there. That's a smart idea. Yeah, it helps create a little feeding friends and uh, gets them in it. So his lines go there, so we're just gonna wait for his to move. There you go. Point your tip a little bit lower. Now you'll see when that line starts taking off and running. Close your bail by hand and wind fast, okay? Keep drifting it. Okay, wind fast. Close your bail, wind fast. Turn the handle. There you go. Get him. a nice one in the corner here. Yeah, you got a keeper on. We might have two keepers on. You never know. Uh -huh. Open it up. Oh, mom and daughter with double keepers here. Let's go. I hope. There you go. I think that one might keep there. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, boy. She beat you. They're getting the yellowtails back there. We'll put out a big bait trying to get a big fish. We'll see. The big fish are smart, though. He's hooked up on the bow, too. What do you got? Got something good on? You got him. Come on, Come on, come on, come on. I got you, don't worry. <laughs> there you go, you got him. Oh my god, I can't. You want to hold the rod tip here? Come on, you're the keys, girl, you got on, it. You want to take it? Oh, you want to take it, big man? You want to take it? You want to give her a break? Sure. Give her a break here. That's come a nice on, fish. Big. Come on, big D. Oh, there we go. Put your right hand on the padding. There you go. You want to try to pull it up? And reel the slack in down toward the fish. Yeah, we're going a couple inches at a time. You got him, you got him. No clue. No sightings yet? Uh, no sightings yet, but I wanted the gaff in case. Yeah, you never know. Miss Isla Murata, man, you never know what's out here. That's how we do it out here. That's the real deal right there. Nick, I'm going to pass you the rod to the other side. How about? I don't know if I can use that. Yeah, I can cut it. I can cut it. Yeah, right here. It's still there. That's okay. I'm good. 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 Come on, who's up? There we hey, go. Buddy, come here. You got this. There you go. Big fish on there. Don't like that one. What pound leader you got? Uh, it's uh, 40 fluoro. Okay. You want to keep that rod tip over the yeah. boat so you don't hit the boat. I hope you Thanks, The party boat crawl. Yeah. Look at that face of concentration. You want to gain a little bit at a time. Yeah, we got a little color now. We can just start seeing him again. There he is. Start coming this way, bud. Good tonight. Oh, hang on, hang on. Wait one second. One, two, three, right now. Perfect. <laughs> right now. Ready? One, two, three. Get him. Up, oh, hang on. Oh, we're getting closer. I can see him down there. I'll trade you for a minute. Let's see if we can get this thing up here. All right, we're trading now just for a second. If he comes up here, though, buddy, be ready to see him, okay? Grab your water, Gabriel, in here. Yeah, but this thing's going to come up here. We're going to get a look at him, okay? Yeah. You, you had him right there. He's only 10 feet down. See him? That big brown thing right there. He's huge. He's big. He's giant. That was like half an hour, huh? Look at the size of that beast. Oh, oh man, he's big. Yeah. Look at the size of him. Oh, yeah. he smokes. That's a big one there, guys. Look at the size of that nurse shark. I can't even believe that was He's a he's a seven footer, guys. Yeah, that's good teamwork. Good job, guys. Everybody. Y'all did good. Woof. Dispose of him, so. Yeah, there you go. He got you now. Wind on him. I can just see your line starting to move fast. Fine, it took a little while. All them fish there took a minute. Oh, wind, wind, wind. See the jack on them? There you go, right there. Perfect. Swing them on in. That's a keeper there. There you go. No more. There you go. Perfect. Good work. We're getting them now, folks. Fish of the day. Show us what you're made of, Ray. Do this one for the kids, Ray. What do you say, Ray? Let's go. You get one shot. There you go, one more loop. Pitch, pitch, pitch on him. One more loop. One more loop. Get him, get him, get him. Oh, oh Big Jack! Yeah. Yeah. Big Jack, Big Jack. Oh we were getting ready to go home. We just put a big old yellow jack on the boat. Pitch at the second one. Good job, guys. Good job, guys. Get in there. Get in there. There you go. Look at that monster yellow jack there. Good job.
Good job, buddy. Are you ready back in the box? Yeah. One, two, three. Woo! Oh, 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 oh. What a day it was, man. A lot of memories were made today. We had a few people seasick, but at the end of the day, a good time was had by most, not all. <laughs> <laughs> This is how we do it on the Miss Island Run right here, guys, in a short period of time. Right. Go out there and crush them. Yeah. 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 Not bad for a few hours of fishing there, guys. Yeah, we take it. What do you think? The rock stars in there. Uh, there you go. So we're just finishing up the day here, you guys. RJ's here. Tony's here. A little bit about mission fishing, how it got started. How did it get started, guys? Yeah, so... About seven years ago, RJ gave me a call. I really didn't know him, I knew who he was. And he said, hey, I wanna take your son fishing. And I'm like, that's great, but you know, my son's in a wheelchair, he can't really hold a fishing pole, never been on a boat, and, and in RJ fashion, he said, just shut up and be at the dock at six. <laughs> and so, so we did, we showed up, my, one of my older boys and my son Josh, and we got on the boat, and I didn't know what to expect with Josh, but what happened when we got on the water was, it was basically therapeutic for him. His body, was, which is always really tense, just loosened up. He had a great time. My other son had the opportunity to fish with his brother, which he had never had that opportunity before. I, as a dad, was able to, to watch that and be a part of it. And so we got back to the dock, and I believe RJ had an experience as a captain and, a, and someone who was able to watch a family be blessed on his boat. And so we both looked at each other and said, we got to do this for everybody, every family. We got to get every captain involved, and so that's how it started. And now who can come on these trips there? Yeah, so we design trips. So so basically what, what we do is, again, we, we, we want to enrich the lives of kids with special needs, their families, their caregivers, kids in foster care, really kids with any vulnerable situation. And so we do trips to specialize for those families, but we also specialize or we, we, we do things for siblings. So we do sibling trips because a lot of times when you have a special needs child and their siblings involved, the focus goes to the child with special needs and the sibling is gets a little uh, ignored and sure. maybe bitter. Uh, but what these trips do is they allow uh, for a sibling to go, hey, I get to go do something fun because of my brother or sister. I'm not restricted because of my brother or sister. And then we'll do trips just with siblings and not. And then same thing with parents. You know, they're, they're, they're always having to tell one kid no because of a restriction with the other kid. But we get the whole family out. The parents are blessed. They enjoy to be able to watch their kids fish together. And so um, it's the trips are for everybody. Awesome. When, you, when you get somebody on the water, and it's interesting because when I first started it, I really, you know, I, I had done a few trips. Right. But when you start to do them, you start to see a pattern when, when we live in a rough world. And so when you're living in a world that we're living in and you put a family on a boat and they get off land and they're, they're not focused on what's happening on social media or on, uh, on the land itself, sure, yeah. it just, you see, that you see a lot of people go to sleep. You see a lot of people finally relax. It's a beautiful thing. And, and secondly, with the volunteer network that we have, the people who give of their boats, of their time, those, it's as enriching for them as it is for the families themselves. Absolutely. So for me, that volunteer network and the people that come on board, I mean, I feel so blessed just to, to go on these trips, to be part of them with the families. And I study them and you watch them and you just see that over and over, the release of real world. You know? Sure. You know, and it's, it's a powerful thing. That's awesome. I'm glad you guys did. And thanks for calling us. Glad we could be part of it. And hopefully we're doing it again next summer. Yeah, we will. Hopefully yeah. if, if the seas... Yeah. We look forward to this trip every year. It's an amazing trip. We're really thankful uh, for yeah. you guys giving us the opportunity down here. And your dad and everybody who's no involved to give us the, the use of the boat. Yeah, we appreciate what you guys do, and we're looking forward to the next trip. All right, sounds good, man. Be good. <laughs> we had 80, maybe 85 yellowtails or so. They're not big. You know, we stay kind of shallow, but they're a lot of keepers. You know, they got to be 12 inches to keep, but 13, 14 inches on a lot of them. That is the yellowtail snapper flay right there, and that is one of the most delicious fish fried up. So. We're going to take a couple pieces home to eat. Everybody else here is going to get to take home a nice bag. Andrew's filleted a lot more yelltails than most people I know. He's still filleting them. But watch, you know, I want to watch how he does a couple of you guys and see how he does it. That's all bones right in there. Rib cage, get rid of that. Little bloodline down the center. Filet. Hey Andrew, thanks so much for taking hey, us. Man. Appreciate it. My pleasure. Thanks the for coming. The crew did a good job, and uh, I know everybody here appreciated it as well. Yeah, it was a great time. We're here with Grace and her mom. What's her name again? Darlene. Darlene. 
She actually grew up down here. Where do you guys live now? We live in Davie. In yeah. Davie? Yeah, but I grew up at Mount Marker 6 in um, Rada, so this is a really great experience for us to go out fishing because I never even got to do this type of fishing growing up. So. so she lived here, grew up here. She never got to do that, so that was awesome. <laughs> yeah. Have you done that before or no? No. <laughs> you hadn't? That was your first time? Well, we went to Fort Lauderdale, right? But we didn't, we didn't get it. You didn't out. get much? Did you have fun today? Yeah. You did? You like being on the boat? Yes, it's like an opportunity I hardly get to experience at all. Awesome. How many fish did you catch today? Um, I helped my family catch a few. I caught one on my own. You did? Yeah. Who hooked the big nurse shark? Is that you guys? Yeah. Um, yes, Both. that big nurse shark. It was huge. <laughs> Both. And, and, it's, it's, and the jack, too. Totally. Did you guys hook the jack, too? Yep. You yep. did hook the jack. Who caught him? Did your brother wind him in? Um, I, somebody else. I hooked him, and another kid helped me get Okay, it awesome. <laughs> teamwork, you guys. That's what it's all about. Yeah, teamwork makes the teamwork. She got him down. That's her saying. We love say. mission fishing. It's been a really, uh, a, a really nice blessing for us to be able to get on the water as a family, because we don't have that opportunity. So. Awesome. How did you meet those guys with mission fishing, Tony and RJ? Um, well, uh, my daughter's autistic, and so we are very involved in the autism community, and I'm an advocate. So it's just, you know, we're a really tight-knit community, and we hear awesome. about these things, and sure. they've just been so welcoming to us, and, and just... So you knew what they were doing, you reached out, so let's go fishing. And yeah, and I just haven't been able to now. make the one in the Keys before, so this is like such an opportunity to be awesome. able to visit family and come down here and do this. So. Well, that's great. I'm so glad you guys came. It was good to meet you, Grace. And nice to meet you, too. Hopefully you'll do it again one day. Yeah. Yeah. You excited to be on YouTube? <laughs> yeah. on YouTube? She's going to be on YouTube. Yeah, yes. yes. Oh, so, boy. <laughs> I'm on YouTube. That's the most exciting part of this for a teenager. <laughs> so you guys, come on down here and go fishing, you know, even at your at home, down here, wherever. And, it was awesome spending the day with you guys. Thank you so much and for the opportunity. So really no problem. I hope you guys enjoy the Yell Tales for dinner, too. Absolutely. Hi. Welcome back to the kitchen, everyone. We've got the Yell Tales snap right here. Got some fillets there. We're going to dip it in some egg wash, or it's egg with a little bit of milk. And our breading, we're doing something a little bit different. We're going to do some sun chips. I know a lot of you guys commented below, you know, try some potato chips. I hadn't done that in a long time. So I crunched up some sun chips here, harvest cheddar flavor. We're going to put them in that. So here we go. We'll see how it all turns out. Hopefully it'll stick on there good enough. Oh yeah, look at that. And then we're gonna go fry it in the cast iron. And just to mix it up, you know, just do something a little bit different. So the snapper's all sun chipped up right there. Mm. And we're gonna keep one piece plain. Um, Claire's starting to eat some food here the last few weeks and we gotta keep hers plain. So here we go. Be careful, Sadie, it's hot. One in it. Yellowtail snapper. Yellowtail snapper. Yellowtail snapper. No, I want them to eat it. Yeah. Don't get all messy. All right, be careful, Sadie. Um, not... We're just gonna fry it on both sides there. That was a special trip there. Um, you know, Tony there from Mission Fishing, RJ Boyle. You know, RJ's got a shop up there too, and Lighthouse Points. If you guys need tackle or anything like that, and he's an amazing artist. He actually drew the first Stan's logo, so. You know, when I decided to go and start my own brand this year, we had been doing fishing rods a few years ago, and he was the original cre creator with the uh, Swordfish Head logo. I'll show you that right now. And this was the actual logo there that he drew originally, and he was uh, one of the first people to encourage me to start my own brand, so you can see that there. And we modified it a little bit now, you know, the last past year, and here's the updated one. The main difference is the T on top of the, the, the top of the T, there's a Swordfish bill now, but there you go. You can see that right there. And it was great getting those kids out. Um, you know, we're fortunate that we're able to do that and help them out. And we did that a couple years ago, and we're going to do it again. And I'm hoping, to be honest with you, that whew, as everything starts taking off here, you know, I'm assuming it does, that we're going to be able to do trips like that and get a lot more kids out fishing that don't get the chance to go. But today, we were eating yellowtail snapper for lunch with Sadie and Claire and Sarah. We've got to flip it over gently. Yeah. The time has come. That's the best looking piece. You know, and the chips stuck on some of the pieces better than others. It looks pretty good though. Let's try it on out. So this is the first time I've actually used those sun chips to do this. I'm excited though. It looks really good and delicious there. Sadie, will you try the fish? Will you tell us if you like it? All right, there's your fish right there, sweetie. And Claire, now Claire's gonna go try some fish too. We didn't put any sun chips on it, but this will be her first time uh, 
eating fish, I believe. Claire's had salmon. Oh, she did? Fine. All right, I lied. Sarah said that Claire had salmon from John. So oh, John, thanks for bringing us the salmon. Get Sassy's opinion first. Potato chip. Potato chip, the all-tail snapper. Sounds awesome. Look, you gonna eat this? Does it taste as good as it looks? Mm-hmm. Pretty yummy? Yeah, good. Crunchy. It's crunchy? Mm -hmm. All right, good. Everyone likes crunchy fried fish. It is good. Yeah, I wouldn't know that they were sun chips, though. Like, they don't, they just taste crunchy. It doesn't taste like potato chips. Let's see if Sadie likes them. Is it good? You like it? Do you want to eat more? No. Here you go. Have some more. Good? You like snapper? Have you ever caught a snapper? You did? Alrighty. Sadie approved it. Sassy approved it. Claire has not approved it, but she's not getting sun chips. You put it right down. You want to put it right here? Um, no, tip it. No, I'm going to hold it. No, I have to try it. Here we go. Y'all tell Snapper, one of the best fried fish you can fry down here in the Florida Keys. And you can do them whole. You can grill them too, but... I like the chips. Like Sarah said, it's crunchy, and I think all fried fish should be crunchy. I hate it sometimes if you fry fish and you don't cook it hot enough and it's a little soggy. I've done that plenty of times. But you can tell it's crunchy, I mean, even when I put the fork in there, you can hear it crunching apart. So, there you go. Claire, are you gonna try that fish? Oops, I thought it fell out. Get a little bit in there. There you go. All right, Claire just ate her first ever yellowtail snapper. Most of it's on her lap, but she got a little bit in there. And I bet you can do that with every type of potato chip. Oh boy, now she's got the big piece. She's going in. Do you like it, Claire? Oh yeah. There you go, good job, Claire. Good job. That's what we like to see. We got the girls, they're eating fish and um, Hopefully they like to catch them here the older they get, because I need some fishing buddies. Try it out, crunch up some potato chips, just do something different. You know, we were using the same breadcrumbs so much lately. Had to mix it up a little bit, it turned out really good. Great day there, mission fishing, mission accomplished. That's all we got for you in this episode. So, hit that like button, make sure to subscribe. If you want any merch, got all the new hats in, we got a bunch of new cotton shirts in. On the website, stansfishing.com, and uh, hopefully we'll see you down here at Bud and Mary's. And if you want to go on the Miss Alamorada party boat one day, they go out there, it's the most affordable way to get out, and they catch Yaltel snappers, mangrove snappers, stuff like that. Here's our Stan's Fam shirt. Not sure if you guys saw it or not, but it's right there. We got the lighthouse on it, and uh, that's our new Stan's Fam shirt right there. So, there you have it. And everybody who bought one so far and ordered one online, I appreciate that. Hopefully, we got more coming your way. So, we'll see you next time. I'm getting back to the family. Bye. Bye. Oh, we're like that. And who's a Guggen? Beans a Guggen, you heard her. Beans a Guggen.